Hey guys, this video is going to be about how to safely hoist an outboard motor. Let me put out a scenario for you guys, okay? You got a boat, 20 foot center console or whatever, you got a really nice 150 on it, the motor fails, you lose a piston, it seizes up, whatever. You need a new motor. Um, you go to the marina, the marina wants way more than even what the boat is worth just to uh, put a new motor on it. So you're like, okay, I'll get a used one on Craigslist. You got some really nice used ones on Craigslist and you can even go to the guy's place and test ride it or you know take it out on his boat or do a compression test and you're like okay there's a really nice used outboard motor <coughs> but how the hell do I get this thing home I mean it is heavier than all hell uh, how do I get it on my boat I can't lift it it's not on wheels it's very unwieldy the guy says he'll put it in my pickup truck but that's it what do I do now I'm stuck a lot of guys get to this place and they say, there's nothing I can do. I'm either going to junk the boat or I'm going to put it in my backyard and just forget about it or whatever. So uh, I'm going to show you guys how I move these motors around. Um, there's a safe way and an easy way to do it that only one person needs to do. If you can jack up a car, you can hoist this motor and you can take the old one off your boat and put the new one on. Now this video is not going to be how to install a motor, I'm going to do one of those later. This is basically how to lift them up and down, how to get them out of the back of a truck and maybe up onto a stand or onto your boat. This is an engine hoist. It does all the heavy lifting around my outboard motor farm. Uh, it's a really cool tool to have and it took a while of struggling with big heavy outboard motors for me to finally pull the trigger and get one. However, I've never looked back. I've always used this thing. It's really awesome. Um, this one I bought used on Craigslist for 75 bucks. It works awesome. You can rent these as well. Um, they disassemble. See, it's just like pins and, and, uh, and clips there. That, and the whole thing disassembles so you can put it in a closet in your garage. What I do is I just collapse the arm and I put an old outboard motor hood over it so rain doesn't get into it. And it lives outside. Not a big deal. It's a really cheap tool. You see there I have the boom totally extended. because I do need the clearance and it's on the half ton setting. Now is that enough? The very heaviest motors that I have here are no heavier than half a ton. This one is probably 430 pounds. I mean way too much for me to lift obviously but this thing takes it no problem. So how do you hook the hoist onto these outboard motors? Well if you're lucky you're gonna have a little hook on this one. That's where I hook it. See, yep, this one's got a hook. That one's got a hook. All these old Evan Roods have hooks. I'm not sure why that they stopped putting hooks on these things. But there are other ways that you can attach the hoist to the outboard motor. We're going to go over a couple. This is a cool little device. I bought this on eBay for 15 bucks shipped. Uh, it is a flywheel puller that uh, attaches to Mercury's. Right up in here. It's not going to work on the Verado, but you just screw it down. There's your hook. The flywheel is going to be the best and most common place to attach the hook of your hoist. So that was totally stable and have no problems lifting this 200. Now Johnson and Evernrude have a similar product, but it's basically a puller. You could probably use your standard uh, triangular puller here. You just put it over here and you send bolts down into there and that will pull it up. If you don't have one of those, you can send a strap or a cable around through here. You got to be careful because oftentimes there's wires and linkage uh, which control the advance of your timing. You see this guy moving back and forth here. You don't want to bugger that up, but I have sent uh, cables and uh, and like ratchet strap straps around here, then tie it in a knot up top, and then hook your hoist underneath that. Next thing you can do is use yourself a stout chain. I uh, generally like to run it right over the flywheel here if I can. Here's a threaded hole that I found here. Nice strong bolt in there. And then I use one of the bolts from the starter motor, which is long enough. Try and get it threaded in as much as possible for extra strength. And that'll do.
right, now guys, last thing, and this is really cool. I saw this on eBay and I had to have it. This is a hoist that attaches to the, uh, the tow hitch of your pickup truck. So you got this whole thing, this whole, this whole thing disassembles if you need to. This is the base to it. The lift goes in like that. And you drop your tailgate. So, whenever I'm pulling a motor, I will park uh, 90 degrees to the boat so that the boat is like right here. And here's your transom right here. I'll get it all disconnected. I'll use this to uh, to get it off the transom, and then it just swivels around, and I can plunk it right into my pickup truck. It was like 130 bucks on eBay. I mean, it's awesome. I use this thing all the time. All right, guys. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know.